So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and today's video we are going to talk about again about Vertipack. On part one of this series I talk about uh, data compression for Vertipack. Vertipack is the engine that sits on database that sits on top of uh, the Power Pivot models and Power BI. And uh, on the first part we talk about how data is compressed and uh, how the way it compresses the data leads us to understand that the data is actually stored in columns and not in rows. And that is, of course, very, very good when you're compressing the data, but it's also very good when you're querying the data. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about columnar databases, why they, they are good for certain um, activities. Of, and uh, yeah, we will go through a again a case for with the Northwind database, and hopefully this will clarify how Vertipack stores its data and why it's so fast to query, or at least faster than traditional. Just a quick recap uh, from the previous video. What you can see here is a table from the Northwind dataset, and this is actually how data is presented to us, how we see the data both in Power Pivot and Power BI, but in fact, Vertipack is actually doing something else in the background. It's actually compressing the data, so it's storing it in columns and it's actually doing all sorts of compressions that the same table would look something like that, more or less. So for today's video, we are going to go through a little bigger table and we're going to explain first how a traditional database would work. So here we have the order, this is the order table from uh, the Northwind database, okay? And let's say that we want to answer this question. How many orders do we have for Quick Stop? Quick Stop is the name of a customer. And for a traditional database model, what it will have to happen is you will have to read or the engine will read all rows and all columns in order. So it will go through that and then it will find one and then it will go to the next row. It will scan all rows and all columns one by one until it finds what it needs to find. So it will go do, 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 and here it will find another one here we find another one and it will continue until there are no rows. So it will scan all the rows and all the columns. So it will have a hundred rows and a hundred columns. It will go through all of them. As you can see for this small table, this is absolutely no issue. But when you have bigger tables, then it becomes an issue. So that you have a billion tables, then you will have to go through a billion rows. And if you have a hundred columns, it will be a hundred columns. So it can be really, really, really big. And to calculate how many orders we have for quick stop, the only thing we need to access is actually the company name and the order ID, nothing else. The rest for this query is completely irrelevant. And if we look how Vertipack is storing the data. As we said in the previous video, it's stored in columns, which has a huge advantage right off the bat. You will see it. And is we're going to answer exactly the same question. How many orders do we have for quick stop? So this column, do you know, all these columns are stored in separate files. So uh, when it's going to answer this question, it doesn't go to go through the file for fright, nor order date not recover date. So this is going to skip all those columns. It doesn't need them. It's going just to focus on two columns, the company date and the order ID. And then it's going to scan this column. And then it's going to find where quick stop is. And then it's going to go to the order ID and it knows now where to look for the data. And then it will do the actual count. So as you can see, this is so much 
faster to do than with traditional databases. So you will skip the columns that it doesn't need. So imagine that we had what we said before, a hundred rows and a hundred columns. In this case, it will have to go through a hundred rows, but it will only need to go through two columns. Which means basically that you could actually potentially have, you know, all the columns in the world, but only the um, relevant one will be used on your query, which improves the performance. It's not recommended to have big tables, so don't do that. But potentially it is a, you know, a time saver. And of course, you know, we know about data compression, so these things will be compressed. So it's not accessing the hundred rows, probably it's perhaps accessing less than that. Um, so these are the advantages for column databases that allows us to do faster queries. This is why Vertipack is uh, fast. So it is a short video. On the next video on the Vertipack series, we're going to go a deep, a, a, a level deeper. And what I've done is I've simplified a little bit how it works. Um, what is Vertipack is also doing is segmenting the tables and the columns. And we will talk about that on the next video. But I think that it's good to, to split this in a series of videos so you can just rasp the information in small portions. It's, for me, at least, it's easier to understand. So I hope you're enjoying this Vertipack series. If you are, let me know by liking the video. It helps me a lot to understand which videos you like and what should I do more of. Make sure you share if you think somebody should know. And if you're new to, par to, <laughs> if you're new to this channel, I publish Power BI videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. So hope you're having a good Easter and uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Take care. Bye.